All right, here we go with differentials. Example 2b, all right? We're going to use linear approximation to come up with an approximate, an approximate value for the cosine of 58 degrees. Now, when you do this, you know, again, I left that x plus delta x up there. You know, the key is to make your x as close to the 58 degrees as you possibly can. Now, we could go back to our familiar triangles we could make x 30 degrees, but then that would be what? 28 degrees away. You know, we could call the 58 degrees 30 degrees plus 28 degrees, I guess. But, and we could also do 45. You know, what's this? 45 degrees plus 13 degrees? Okay, that's a smaller delta x. But here's the deal, the best choice to get the best approximation possible would be to use the 60 degree for x, because 60 is the closest familiar angle to 58. So indeed, what we could do is we could call this 60 degrees plus, now that seems weird to put plus, but you would have to go backwards two degrees. But let's call 58 degrees, 60 degrees plus negative two degrees. That gets you 58 degrees. So the point is, in a case like this, you want that x, to be as close to the number as you possibly can get. The best choice is 60 degrees, and then the delta x, negative two degrees. I wish I had the picture up here, but the picture works the same if you go backwards from your original x. So anyway, f of 60 degrees plus negative two degrees is approximately f of 60 degrees plus F prime of 60 degrees times negative 2 degrees. Now, we're going to talk about this, though, in a minute, about the negative 2 degrees in particular. So, all right, what's the F? Well, the F is the original, the cosine X. That's the function that we're, we're taking the cosine of a number. So that's our function. And then the F prime that we need when we do this we take the derivative of whatever that function is, negative sine x, and we're off and running. Okay, now, f of 60 degrees would be the cosine of 60 degrees. I'm tempted, to, well, I'll write it here. So that'd be the cosine of 60 degrees plus f prime negative sine of 60 degrees. Now, here's the deal though, the negative two degrees, and this is something that's very easy to, to mess up, but that multiplier there, you know, we can figure out the cosine of 60, we can figure out the cosine of the corresponding radian measurement, but it is imperative on that negative two degrees that we change that into radians, all right? And I don't have a ton of time on that, but I want to remind you that pi is 180, right? And so if you do proportion like we practiced a long time ago, I believe that'll end up being negative pi over 90 because two degrees is 1 90th of 180. So this would be 1 90th of pi. But that would be an important thing to change that into radian measurement. And so then, you know, when we put this in our calculator, we'll just put negative pi divided by 90 in there. So make sure on a question of this nature that you change that into radians. Okay, now the cosine is 60 degrees. Here's our picture, 60 degrees. Cosine, right, horizontal. So that would be one half. All right, negative sine of 60. I don't think I need those parentheses there actually. Negative sine, okay, sine is this one, right? Negative sine, so that would be negative square root of three over two, and then we multiply that by negative pi over 90. All right, and this is button pushing, to be honest with you. So, you know, the hope would be that you could push those buttons, and I did that ahead of time. Uh, it's just arithmetic, I don't know what to tell you, but you can ask your calculator, you can have pi and square root of three and those kind of things. This becomes positive, by the way, and that kind of thing. But I did the arithmetic on that, and this should come out to be approximately 0.53022. And again, I have trouble knowing when to round things, 
So I'm just going to write out the whole thing and tell you that that's what I would come up with there. So anyway, I hope that made sense as everything. Let's just all keep doing the best we can. And there you go. We'll move on.